I'm really happy and excited about this exhibition yeah. and I'm loving to see my art on the white clean white wall <laughs> yeah our studios are barely clean right we just kind of <laughs> stack them and yeah work where we can uh, my name is Unju Park and I am from South Korea and I moved here in 2010 and my husband actually is from St. Albert and he came to Korea to teach English yeah. and I was an English teacher in Korea so that's how we met we came here I never thought I had art in me and I in Korea actually people um, unless you are the best of best you don't go for it so you have to be best at studying you have if you're just good enough for art you don't go for that route at all so even now now I looking back on it I was always doing something creative but I didn't think I was creative I, I always thought like oh I'm good at copying and like mm. I'm doing I can do things but it didn't really come to my mind and uh, in 2016 16, I lost my dad to suicide Mm. and my daughter was only two months old so I was too busy to raise my two little kids and I couldn't grieve I didn't do anything about my my sadness and a few years later the life got easier because kids are older and I got super depressed I was really sad and I didn't know where my life was going I was just grumpy not happy anything and um, I, uh, one of my Canadian friends, she asked me if I knew of BTS, the Korean band. They are the most popular boy group in the world. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't listen to K-pop, so I didn't know about them. I heard of their, their names, but I didn't know. And I looked them up and I fell in love with them because not because they can dance and they can sing and they're handsome they their songs are all about love yourself mm. their songs are you can do it it's okay uh, what is your dream like their songs were all about positive messages and I was I was so comforted by their songs and I and and also they are showing all the Korean culture in their music videos and all their shows and I because I've been here for like over 10 years I was losing the connection to my heritage and they were reminding me that like look at this beautiful culture I had so uh, it just sparked me okay I love I am proud Korean I want to do something about Korea and um, that's I uh, and and because of their songs I started looking for my dream. What is my dream? I never really had a dream. I just I am 40 years old like I know life goes like this. How am I going to find my dream? So I started thinking what do I even like to do and I remembered when kids were young we would do like art classes at home and I kept I kept painting and painting even though my kids were all done <laughs> I kept painting and it was so much fun and so therapeutic so like hmm, maybe I like painting I bought paint by numbers and I was doing it for like after kids go down uh, at night I did it for like four months and I finished the whole picture and I was so proud that I finished something and it's beautiful even though it's paint by numbers so I was like okay maybe I like painting let's keep painting so I brought Korean traditional paper and then I started drawing on it drawing really simple flowers on it and it looked okay to me so I kept drawing and then one day like okay maybe I want to put some Korean letters in it because I am Korean I'm using Korean traditional paper so and Korean letters are really simple and it looks really pleasing I think so okay I can make something out of it so I started ripping this Korean traditional paper called Hanji and then I put I glued them on a canvas and it became this now 
um, I find because like when I rip the pieces that process is very therapeutic so I would rather rip it than using the other tools that I would rather use my hands and I want to feel the feeling of this paper because this paper doesn't have the coldness when you touch this paper it has warmth in it so just touching this paper is just an amazing feeling and I want to just rip it and I I like hearing it and this just I think it's uh, my therapy <laughs> so I wanted this piece I wanted to show the background because background shows all the Korean traditional uh, shapes and design so uh, some pieces of hanji is really thin hanji comes in all different thickness so uh, sometimes I use the pieces that you can it's transparent so you can see the bottom background and this piece is really thick and they actually made this piece like uh, this hanji they they how do you say crink crinkle crinkle yeah crinkled yeah. and then they make this kind of hanji and it's like more layered so you can't really see through and this one is all pretty much all not see through because they're all thicker ones and you can see through this one so i like when i want more pop color i usually use like the thicker ones that you can't see through and i love using every kind <laughs> yeah it, it creates a nice space yes a really exactly. nice space between thick and thin yeah um, and transparent and non-transparent mm -hmm. and we've been talking a lot in the store about when to use transparent when to use opaque so ah. we have a youtube video on that but now we've we've seen it in art so ah. that's great <laughs> I, I never really studied art or i was i didn't even think i had art in me so like i never really i didn't know about like color mixture and like what looks good so i just followed my gut <laughs> oh this looks good to me then maybe other people will find it good <laughs> so i just i just went for it i didn't know anything about it and i think uh because i've been doing it for over two years now i think i'm getting better i already see like the i when i look at the old pieces that the first pieces i made I progress so much mm -hmm. so I'm so excited for my art journey like how awesome would I be in 10 years <laughs> you're already awesome you're already <laughs> awesome um, tell me about because they seem to be getting more complex and more torn mm -hmm. um, I love the squiggly one so I really love that the background piece it's really unique and it has all Korean traditional um, symbol at the back so I wanted to show the background off too and then I wanted something simple but I didn't want to just use one color in one like green I want to use a little different green because Hanji comes in all different kinds of colors so I wanted to mix them and I first started with outline and then I started filling it in and then I thought like oh, it doesn't look right I want to add more and I wanted to I put the black part yeah. black part around and then one black part wasn't enough so I kept going <laughs> until I am um, like I like it <laughs> is it drawn on is it more torn paper well, it's all torn paper, all torn paper. Yeah. it looks like yarn unraveling yeah, like, yeah. I really love exactly. it exactly yeah. so how do you get the straight lines uh, usually I fold it first and then I just rip it through along the line but I think I've been doing it for a long time so some days I don't even have to fold I just rip it <laughs> just rip in a straight line yeah. see skill and the circles mm -hmm. circles are a little hard so a lot of times circles I just rip it with a like plain line mm -hmm. just a straight line and then I just shape it because because I fold a few like places so mm. it's it's easier to like you just use the straight line first oh. yeah oh that's clever that's mm -hmm. clever good that's a few so usually this uh is a korean traditional stamp 
and usually people just put the Korean letters <laughs> with their names on but because I am in Canada I want to show what my name is people can't read Bagunju so <laughs> I put the English next to it oh. <laughs> Hanji is a Korean traditional paper it is from inner bark of mulberry trees mm -hmm. and this paper has been around since the third century and this paper can last more than 1000 years mm -hmm. did you know like silk can last 500 years and this paper can last more than 1000 years that is pretty impressive and i didn't know about all this before i started hanji art and mm -hmm. as i was doing it i realized like no, this is an amazing paper that we have, but people don't know about it. So mm -hmm. I have to, I have to let the world know. Yes. <laughs> so yes. me doing this is like one way of showing that, like, look at this paper. You can do anything with it. Yeah. And um, I wanna make even, I wanna, I wanna even spread this paper even more, so people can actually use this paper as an art medium. Mm -hmm. So they can I, and I'm thinking like one day I want to make Hanji canvas so mm -hmm. people all the artists in the world imagine if their work can last more than 1000 years yes. <laughs> they'll be pretty amazing yes. so I my dream is I want to I want to spread this paper as much as possible and I want to become the Hanji lady <laughs> the Hanji lady yeah. are you importing the paper I am planning to yes. I will support you <laughs> so we stock already Japanese paper mm -hmm. which is also mulberry yeah. paper uh, the saw paper from India mm -hmm. It's very unique to every culture, so yeah. I would support you and, and be maybe your first importer. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. We used to have papyrus delivered from a gentleman in Egypt, and he would just go visit his parents and bring it home in his oh. suitcase, and we would sell it. So, huh. yeah, it would be really fun. It still feels surreal to say that I'm an artist, and I could have had a miserable life with depression and all that, but it's. I feel like life is perspective. Like mm -hmm. you, how you see your life. I didn't want to live like sad life or mm -hmm. I didn't want to live my life depressed. Yes. And then I chose not to. When people see my art, even though they don't know what it means, they feel the happiness and they feel the hope. So I'm really happy about it. <laughs> so what's next for you? Um, what is next? Um, I have an uh, art exhibition in St. Albert Art Gallery mm. Mm, from August till November and I'm going to do the workshop as well so I'm going to teach how to how to rip or how to make art pieces with Hanji nice. uh, to all ages so yeah. anybody can. you definitely have art you <laughs> definitely you. have art and I think your story of you know you weren't supported in art or you thought if you weren't the best at it you shouldn't go forward mm -hmm. will resonate with a lot of people yes with many people that come and say well I was told I shouldn't do art but mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah and they're amazing yes so I think it's a, a common story and I'm glad you persevered <laughs>